What's going on guys? My name is Brooke540. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Here I am at work. I'm in the butchery area. Got the knives there, ready to go. And I just thought I'd quickly throw up a quick old video there how to get the, uh, how to bone a lamb shoulder out. So uh, let's get on into it. Uh, we'll go over there to the uh, little chopping board there. Got it all set up and uh, we'll be ready to roll. Let's get into it. Hey, hey guys, and here we are. We're at the lamb shoulderness on our little block here. And make sure you always put like a little rag or like a little cloth underneath the uh, underneath the chopping block there because I'll stop it sliding around there. And obviously you're not going to have this cord here. This cord's to this light, to this uh, tripod thing that's uh, awkwardly riding the way as I'm boning it out. But anyway, here we are, here with the lamb shoulder, right here. So I've already broken it all down. This this would be where the shank is. Like the little shank would be here, and then like the other side of the shoulder would be here. And it's got some little rib bones here, little plate there. And what we're going to do with this one, I'm going to yeet that over there. Anyway, we're going to throw, we're going to we're going to um, bone this one out because there, there is quite a bit of bone in there, and a lot of people like it boned out because then you can lie it all out flat. And then once it's lied out all flat. And, uh, it cooks nice and fast and the shoulder meat's always really nice so what you want is a boning knife like this one I also have a steak knife but be a bit too big see you on the boning knife ready to go I was just trimming it up there so a good bit of that on there anyway so you want to come down here so what you want to do is the first bit we're going to get is this little bit of meat here right here just along the chain there this like little bit of like neck meat here so we're just going to like come along there, trim that off nice and carefully. It's very difficult for me right now because I'm watching it. I'm watching what you're watching right now through the camera because the camera's right in my face just to give you this good view. Anyway, so that little bit of uh, meat there and that'll just go into like lamb and sausage or something like that. And then the next bit is we're taking off this bone here. We're taking all of this off in one hit. So we're taking all of that and this off in one hit. So what you want to do, there'll be bones along here. You're going to get to the last one here. Last bone. You can feel it. Don't be shy now. Get on in there. So you want to come in here just like this. Just the tip. Just the tip. My favorite racehorse. Just the tip. Right? And you want to just come along there. Just the tip. Because if you put the whole thing in, it's going to go throughout the other side and you're just going to slash out the whole thing. And it's not going to be good. So we're going to come along there, right? That's how I do it anyway. Then I'll stand it up, right? Then I'll come down these little, these little backbones here. Just gentle. Just gentle. It's not a race now. Never ever cutting towards your hands. See my hands over here. I'm cutting down here. Just along the bone there. Just along the bone there. It's going to get to a point where it's going to start like cascading over there. See that there? Into that sweet, sweet chuck meat. I'm just going to stand this up like this. You get, don't be afraid now. You can, you can pull, do that. All good. And you want to change grip to this grip right here. Now, you're going to come in like this. Go around these little bones here. Just like that. Just multiple takes. Doesn't have to be all in one hit. There we go. There we go. And we're going to come back around here. I'm going to hold this and just finish that off under here. Under there. See, it kind of, see, now, now we're up to this bit. This bone here, we're up to this bit. So now we're going across that bit. See, my hand's over here, knife's over here. Always cut it away. If you have one of those um, steel mitts at, um, at home, I'd suggest wearing it. Um, that there, chuck it in the soup. Good for you. But that ain't all the bones. So that bit's off. Put that over there. So that bit is now off. Now, the last bone that we're going to have is this blade bone here. So this bone here ends up over here. So that's where it is. And don't worry about trimming it up or anything like that. We'll get to that in the end there. The first thing we're trying to do is get the bones out. 
So now what we're going to do, there's always a, whenever you get in the lamb shoulder, there's always going to be a right side and a left side. So if you're watching this, you might have a bone and it comes out this side because it's not this side. There's two sides to the animal. So watch out there if you're, if you're boning one out and there's one on that side. It's still pretty much the same though. So you'll want to come up here to this little shank end bone here. And if the shank was on, I just would have like boned out the whole shank and then um, just put it all in there. But I've already sold the shanks, so we're back into it. So you want to come to this bone here, right here. And you just want to come down. I know it's this side. And it, the bone looks like this. It, it's come down here like that. That's what the bone looks like, and that's where we're going. So we're going to come in here, hand away, hand away. We're just going to come along there. There's a little bump. Just go around the bump. Now we're hard up against the bone here. Now we're hard. So I'm trying to show you the bone here. So that's the bone there. Now we're hard up against the bone, and we're going to pop out down here. So this all this bone here is connected. So we're going to pop out down there, hard up against the bone. Beautiful. That's the one. So now we're going to just trim this little bit up here. Open it up here a bit. And now, now that that's all open, we're just going to just cut just the top here. Just the top. There's a bit of a bone here. There's a, so there's a knobby bit in here, but we're not up to that bit. We're up to this bit here. So we're just going to clear along this. Very hard up against the bone here. It's a flat bone. The blade bone here, just along there like that, just along like that, until you get to the end. And we're at the end there. That's the end there. Now we're going to turn it around like this, and we're going to mark it up there just like that just the tip make sure your knife is nice and sharp just like that marked it you just we're just marking it we're not we're not cutting the whole thing now we're going to get to this little joint here you can kind of see the joint there you can see it moving see the joint there so we just want to get in there we're, we're cutting through that we're cutting right through that bit of tendon there cut through that now, I'm going to pop this up like this, and we're actually going to stand it up on this bone here. I'm going to change this grip here, and we're just going to mark down the back of this, just like that. And we're just marking, see that? So we're just marking it, up against the bone there. Then, we should be able to just pull this out, it's a bit awkward with the camera in my face, but... Like that. Oh, that back there. See that? So we're just pulling it off. And that bit should have came with us. But oh, it's pretty clean there. And then we just finish it up there. Lay bone out. I can normally get it better when the camera's not right in my face. I swear, I swear. Anyway, just trim that bit up. Sausages in there. And now the last bit, this little arm bone here. So we're just going to stand this up here. And just go around. Oh, with a blood clot there. Uh, don't put the blood clots in your sausages because you'll get like a, you'll see it. It'll just, it won't, it won't change color no matter how much seasoning you add. It'll just, it'll just stay a blood clot forever. Anyway, where are we? Here we are. But there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. I'm just going to finish getting this little bit of air out. A little arm bone there. For the soups. Right, here we go. That is it. That is a boned out lamb shoulder right then and there. Now, when you come to trimming this bit, there normally is a bit, bit of fat in here. You can trim that out. I normally trim that out before I sun it for a roast there. Let me a big bit there. Yeah, there it is. This is in every lamb. This is in every single lamb. So if you see this, don't get worried. It's just a little gland. 
I've been butchering for like 10 years. It's, it's in every lamb there is. It's just a little gland. You just cut that out. If you slow cook that up, you wouldn't even know. That bit there out. Awesome. So that'd be a bone lamb shoulder right there. So you could you could just sell that just like that. Or you could roll it up. Put some strings on it, you know. A nice little roast. Put the stuffing inside. But since it's summer, everyone everyone is after the butterfly. So how you butterfly it out, right? So you've got it here, right? So all you need to do, just come down here, just the angle like that. You're cutting just about all the way through. And you just keep on going now. Flip it around. And just butterfly it all out. And and people always ask, you know, why why you butterfly hat? Because um, because you want it all nice and even. And when it's all nice and even, it's going to cook even faster. You just take your time. You can just butterfly it any bit you want. Just make it all nice and even. And that would be a uh, that'd be a butterfly lamb right there. Myself personally, I like to roll it up. Looks better and it goes all crispy on the outside. Anyway, my name's Brook540. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. If you want to see me bone out anything else, um, give, us a, uh, give us a comment there. I'm thinking about boning out a duck. That'd be pretty good. Uh, thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Brook540. Bye.